How you conduct yourself on site is incredibly important. The way you behave and carry yourself says a lot about you as an individual and Silverback as a company. It is your responsibility to make sure you conduct yourself and have the correct appearance according to some simple guidelines set out by Silverback. Preparation. Uniform. Always make sure you have clean and presentable uniform to wear. PPE is part of your uniform and must be brought to every shift and worn where necessary. Silverback uniform consists of a silverback t-shirt, black cargo shorts or pants, and other silverback garments that are available from your area manager. Job confirmation texts are sent out the day before the job will commence. Make sure you have received the texts and have read them through. This way there is no confusion over what time you start and where. If you think you're on a job and haven't received a text, call your manager. Punctuality is very important and you should get to your job no later than 15 minutes before the start time. If you have to travel to your job or meet point, then please make sure you are on time as this will have an impact on what time you arrive at your job. Take into consideration travel time needed, your route and peak traffic times, whether this is on road or using public transport. Depending on where you are working, there may or may not be catering available so it is always a good idea to think ahead and prepare food and drink for the shift. Appearance. Appearance and presentation plays a big role in what we do and what our client has invested in. You are representing Silverback and should make an effort to make sure Silverback is represented to the best of your ability at all times. If any uniform needs replacing, please let your manager know and he will replace it. Any crew with tatty uniform or unbranded clothing will not be asked to work shifts. Another aspect of appearance is hygiene. Please make sure you shower and keep your body odour to a minimum. Keep a deodorant in your bag just in case. Hair tied back if long, no facial jewellery and keep tattoos on show to a minimum. On site. Arrive on site 15 minutes before the shift starts. If you have any problems regarding your shift, please call your crew chief or manager. If you arrive on site and need to get changed into silverback uniform, then please arrive early and make sure you get changed in a discreet place out of sight of the client, venue staff and any members of the public. Make yourself known to your crew chief or the other senior members of crew on site. Your crew chief is in charge on site and he will introduce you to the client and take orders from the client to then delegate instructions to you and the rest of the crew. Always pay attention to the instructions given in order to perform the task correctly and get the jobs done in time. If you have any questions about the tasks you're doing then please ask your crew chief or a more senior member of crew for advice. It is your job to work safely, efficiently friendly and with a professional and can-do attitude. Whilst on site with Silverback, make sure you get involved, ask questions and make a point to learn something new every shift and enjoy working as part of a team. If you use any Silverback tools or production material, make sure these are returned at the end of the shift. It is your responsibility to be respectful to the other members of crew, the client, technicians on site, venue staff, security staff and members of the public. Whilst working for Silverback, you are responsible for making sure Silverback is seen in the correct manner in order to uphold our professional reputation. Phones on site are permitted, but only for work purposes, not for personal calls or texts. Your manager may need to get hold of you to ask you to work. If so, you will need to respond as soon as possible. Crew catering is considered a bonus and should be treated as so. Never help yourself to crew catering without the permission of your crew chief or client. Any drugs or alcohol consumed either before a shift or during will result in instant dismissal. When your shift has come to an end, always ask your crew chief if you are done. The crew chief will speak to the client in order to make sure all tasks have been completed. If there is still work to be done, the client may ask if you can stay on. At this point you should be flexible and help by staying on for extra hours and extra money. 
If you are done, then your crew chief will let you know and get the all clear from the client and indicate it's okay to leave. On leaving, always say goodbye and thank you to your client and the people you have been working with. There is no doubt you will be working with these people again, so it's best to start and end the shift on the best possible note.